Hello, welcome to my video today. I'm going to be talking about my favourite art supplies of 2021. Most of them are quite little, but there's one big thing which I must talk about because it's made a huge difference to my life. So I'm going to start off with, I bought these stencil butters, inspired by PM Artist Studio. They were using them in their stencils and it's lovely stuff. It's not cheap, so I've only got a few pots, but they're gorgeous colours and they're very slightly iridescent. I love them and I've used them a fair few times now. So I can recommend those if you want to buy something like this in the new year. I'm going to be looking out for, um, for bargains in the new year. So there's those. Now the other thing I really love that my son and daughter-in-law bought me for Christmas is this beautiful glass pen. It came with some inks. I've not used the inks yet actually, so let's give them a go. Uh, the wonderful thing about, oh I can't get that off. Oh, well you meant to put your pen in it. No. <sighs> I don't know how that works. Okay, we shan't do that. <laughs> I don't know how to open the ink. Oh, I've got some other ink handy. No, I haven't. Anyway, the beautiful thing about it is that these curly bits, these spirally bits, hold all the ink, quite a lot of ink. So you can write and write and write away for quite a while before the ink actually runs out. So you only have to dip it a few times. And the other good thing about it is because it's glass, it's very easy to wash. I can see I've got some ink on the base of that, but if I worked at it, I could get that as clean as it was new. Now they're not expensive to buy. Again, I'm going to be looking out for prices in the new year. They might be on offer, you never know. But it's beautiful, they come beautifully decorated as well. So I can recommend getting a glass pen if you like doing a bit of fountain pen or ink drawing. You can use it for drawing as well as for writing. So that's that. It came in a lovely box, all nicely protected, and I'm just and it's just as well because I knocked this on the floor the other day, and nothing was damaged because I went oh when I did it, <laughs> gave me quite a fright. The other thing I want to tell you about is for acrylic painting, I really like these uh, De La Rowney again System Three brushes. They're great for acrylics. They've got just the right amount of spring in them, but I can also use them for watercolours. I don't because I've got some good watercolour brushes. So they're good for gouache and they're good for acrylics and that's what I shall be using them for. I've got a variety of shapes and sizes. I've got this um, wedge shape and I've got this round. I shall zoom in on those a little bit more so you can see what I've got here. There. So they're worth getting, and again, that's something to buy in the new year when they reduce prices, because brushes ain't cheap. Uh, the other thing I've been, I've been a bit wild about this year is my water-based paints. I mean, I do love acrylics. I didn't always love acrylics. I used to absolutely hate them. But I've been investing in some watercolour, water-based paints. I've been using these Chiminka ones, which I got in a sale run by Jackson's there we go. Ooh. and they are lovely I absolutely adore them they're nice quality paints unfortunately not vegan I didn't realize that when I bought them you can buy vegan paints and what I do like about them is it's got some um, pearlescent paints got some basic colors plus per pearlescent paints and I really love this I also purchased but I didn't get that this year but I've been using more this year are the woo, Comarelli, is it? Watercolour paint set with the golds and silver. Um, I've begun to use that this year and I love them. They're nice quality. Mozart Comorelli or Comaribi watercolour paint set. Not expensive. I got that on Amazon. Um, and what else did I get? I bought, this goes on with something else. I also purchased this lovely white night set of these lovely pastel colours in watercolours. Now, they say they're watercolours, but they're not really. <laughs> they're more gouache because they're all opaque, but I love them. They're beautiful colours. So I don't know if they're easy to buy because I don't think they make them anymore. I got these on eBay at uh, quite a reasonable price, um, but I love them. So I can recommend buying those because they are gorgeous colours. Now, along the lines of paints, I went and purchased, let me get the box out of my reach, sorry. There we go, squeaky cat chair, ignore it. These Arteza gouache paints. And the box is a bit cumbersome to use. So what I did was I bought one of their tins 
that holds 48. They they had they've got 48 normal colours plus mm, 12 per lessons. So I put the normal colours in this palette and I keep it wet. I'm always spraying it. It's got a bit dry there. So what I do is I've got one of these little spray bottles and I give it a spritz every few days because gouache is much nicer to use when it's pre-wetted and I want them always to be pre-wetted. I live in a country where they don't go mouldy so that isn't a worry. So that brings me on to this palette which I purchased to hold the pearlescent ones. It's actually got 14 whole pans in it um, but of course I only use 12 because that's all there is. Again, I'm going to give those a squirt. They're pretty, pretty colours. Very pretty. Now on the subject of gouache, I've been using that a bit more in my art journals because it doesn't stick the way um, acrylic sticks. I've had since my <laughs> college years, it's quite a while ago now, a set of Winsor & Newton designers gouache. Um, and I didn't use them all that much actually, I think just for a few classes I used them and a bit of my own personal stuff. So I went through what I had and I, I put them all in this special palette which I really like because it's got a silicone seal all around the edge here, it's a silicone seal. So it holds the moisture in so they never dry out. Again, I spritz them. I don't have to spritz them as often as the ones in the tin, once a week will suffice for these. Um, and I just topped up a few of the colours that I quite liked. I think I got some of these purples. can't remember what else I bought. But it's a lovely set now. But that's good for, um, for commissioned work, really, or something I want to sell. The Arteza ones are just for fun, because they're not um, artist quality. But they are lovely, and I, and I love this box. And I will put the name down below what it is I can't see a name on it in case you want to buy one it's only plastic it looks metal it's only plastic but it looks quite sturdy and what you could do is you can take this out and you could use this for mixing plus you can use that for mixing as well which I think is quite good so I can recommend it and it does keep everything nice and moist but you've got to keep it flat though that's the only trouble with keeping, you know, no good for travelling anywhere. I wouldn't be able to take that anywhere with me, but that's fine. Now, on the subject of gouache, I've, these I haven't bought, but I've been using them more this year, are these um, Lascaux gouache paints. They are more of an acrylic than a gouache because it's got acrylic medium in it. Not a lot, but enough to make it more acrylic than a watercolour, in my opinion. So... Uh, they're great for in my journals though because they dry matte so I've used it on this page as you can see there's no sheen whatsoever whereas something with acrylic it's quite shiny see the sheen but the matte means it doesn't stick so and also it's better for scanning and photography that's the idea of gouache it was initially made for scanning so I don't know. I'm going to be using them probably more into 2022 as well because I really like them. I don't think I need to buy any more because I've got plenty now. <laughs> got plenty to be going on with. Um, also on the subject of water media, I have topped up on my watercolours. But I, shouldn't, I shan't talk about that much. But I've been using my watercolours a little bit more as well. And in 2022, I'm going to be doing some watercolour paintings. Now the final item I purchased in 2021, and I have used a lot, you've probably guessed, is my Silhouette cutting machine. It realised a dream of mine. I've always wanted to be able to make and sell my own stencils. So I bought it early on in the year, I think March or April. I uh, began to make stencils. I've been selling them in my Etsy shop and it's paid for itself, more than paid for itself actually. And I love it. I love being able to have my own stencil designs. I love, I've got a massive collection now, massive drawer. I'd say about that thick of stencils. Uh, trouble is there's too many now, I need to reorganize them. But I really love being able to make my own designs. For years, I've been making my own stencils with either a blade or by burning with like a pyrography tool. So this is new to me and I love designing them. It takes a bit of time, it takes a bit of time to cut them but it's really been great fun for me. 
Oh, the other thing I forgot to mention is my, this is the other thing that I've been using this year that I totally love. This Rangers by Dilutions um, journal. It's absolutely marvellous. I love it. I know not everyone does, because they say the pages um, fall out, and I've noticed that a little bit. Because I took some pages out, because once you start adding bits to it, they get too full, and that puts a strain on the spine. So I went to the centre of the spines and took some out, and I did feel that the spine now is slightly misshapen. So I don't know how you can see. It's not straight anymore, but we'll see what happens. I'll just repair it if, if pages start falling out. I'll just repair them. But I really love it. I love the size of it. It's, eight, it's more, slightly more than eight inches by eight inches. And uh, the quality of the paper is just amazing. I just sewed all my pages ready, actually. And I've just loved working in it. It's been a true gem for me. It was a gift, a very lovely gift. Totally delighted with it. And I know I'll be using it throughout 2022. So here we are. These are the things that I've been using. What did I do with these? Throughout 2021. Goodness knows what I'll be using in 2022. I don't know, but we'll see. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Bye.